Welcome back to Trigger Time TV. I'm your host, Mike Lamb. In this next segment, we're going to be speaking with Jim Gilliland about mid-range performance, specifically using the SPR, Special Purpose Rifle. Hey folks, Jim Gilliland here from Shadow 6, and I got Knox Crow with me again. Today we're going to talk about special purpose rifles, or like we said before when we were introducing the rifles, the semi-automatic precision 223. All right. So in the last 10 years through Iraq and Afghanistan, we've learned that in a very quick moving environment, you have the scenarios come up to where you've got to take rapid precision shooting so the situation can be handled quickly. You just really can't do that with a, a bolt action precision rifle. You can take that first shot well, but by the time you get back on the gun to take the second shot, it may not be there. All right. So Essentially, uh, you know, soldiers and Marines have decided that they need highly accurized special purpose rifles for designated marksmen to be able to use these rifles to bridge the gap between the 300 meters that the infantry can shoot out to the 600 meters where the sniper really takes over. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what those rifles are. Now this rifle is specific, Seekins Precision Rifle, and it's set up very closely to what we were using for SPRs while I was in Iraq in 2005. Most of my engagements were done with a rifle similar to this. These rifles have match grade stainless steel barrel, they've been fluted for weight reduction, they have uh, hand guards that are free floated, that means they don't touch the barrel anywhere, they got muzzle brakes on them so that you can come off and get a better engagement after a rapid fire, and they have optics and they have precision uh, match grade triggers. So all of these things wrapped together, when done correctly, will look very similar to what everyone else is carrying. However, this rifle specific is very precise shooting. So between the optic letting me see better and the barrel and the trigger work done, this rifle can get me places where normal rifles couldn't. So what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna play out a scenario for you to kind of let you see what happens and how that we uh, employ these rifles. So take a look at this. <clears throat> hey Knox, uh, you see that guy right there uh, on the corner of the building? Uh, it's, a, it's a yellow building and it's got a blue trash can on the left hand side. Yes, got him. Okay. Um, looks, like, looks like he's got an IED. Can you confirm? Confirm, he does. All right, he's at 500 meters. So go ahead and pick up on him. Dial in 2.2. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, there's two other guys who just walked out of the alley. They're talking. All right, I'll tell you what, we're gonna do a SIMO. <clears throat> Here's what we're gonna do. You take uh, the one guy with IED, and I wanna pick up the other two. Um, I'll take uh, the near target first, and I'll take the rear target second. If you come off recoil, you get the second target, the far target, got it? Got it. All right, I'm on it. Ready? On you. Clear? Clear. I got three targets down. Essentially, that scenario is exactly why these rifles were made. It allows the spotter to fill the gap on the second and third shots, and it gives the line squads the ability to take precision shots just in case the engagement happens in that format. So, with these rifles, you get a rapid engagement you get a lighter rifle, and you get the ability to still kick in that door, go in, take in whatever shots you need on the close fight, and then when you pull up security, and there's a guy out there five or 600 yards that has a machine gun, you, as a designated marksman, can take this rifle and engage that target with a higher capacity to, to hit that target. So, if you're looking at the mid-range between three and six, then absolutely, this is the rifle you're looking for. They're light, they're maneuverable, they do everything close, and they can still reach out and tag somebody. I personally took a shot at 700 yards with one round hit 
with my M4, the suppressor, a good barrel, and that trigger with 77 grain Black Hills ammo and was successful. Think about the next time you're looking for a solution for you. This is Jim Gill and Shadow Six. Hunt smart.